Digimon? Where is Digimon? What happened to Digimon? Is there a new anime out? Is there a movie out? We have all these questions that need answered and, uh, and much more. And the, the really only way to answer all these questions is by going back, I would say, I don't know, maybe, yeah, I would say 15 years. Yes, Digimon is 15 years old. Well, actually more than 15 years old. But we gotta start with Digimon Adventure. The first season of Digimon, which it aired in the 1999, I believe, uh, here in America at least. Uh, the show was great, it had uh, great music, uh, great uh, storylines, uh, the characters were great, uh, the demons were great, such as Agumon, uh, Angemon, Gabumon, uh, Wargraymon, and others that made this show uh, really interesting and fun for kids to watch. The first season of Demon left a big impact and it even rivaled Pokemon for a little bit. And because of this success, uh, Digimon decided to create more seasons and this brings us to the second season which is Digimon Adventure 2 or also known as uh, Zero 2. Uh, I'm gonna tell you the truth at first, I didn't really like it. Uh, I didn't like the whole idea of using Digi eggs to uh, Digivolve and getting stronger and maybe also because of one little character that I don't know. It just kind of looked like a teapot or something. Yeah, didn't like it. But it did introduce the characters well. Uh, it joined the old characters with the new ones really well. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, the, the Digimons that they showed, they were cool. Uh, such as War Greymon, Black War Greymon, of course, and other ones that, that it was great. Digimon Adventure had a cool story at the end. Everything turned out to be good. And so it led to the next season, which is Digimon Tamers. Now, uh, Digimon Tamers was one of my favorites uh, in my list of Digimon seasons. Uh, the story was great as well. Uh, very, very cool, uh, iconic characters uh, that this show ended up with. But here's where Digimon kind of dropped the ball. It's, uh, you know... Yeah, they decided to go with this whole uh, Digi Evolution, Matrix Evolution, and because of this little problem, it led to the creation of Digimon Power Rangers. Oh, wait, I mean, I mean, Digimon Frontier. Yeah, Digimon Frontier. Uh, they decided to make this whole Digimon story way different. Um, the plot was around these spirits, things, armor that they used to uh, Digivolve. Instead of having real partners as Digimon, and this created such, you know, Digivolutions that looked like, you know, they were transforming themselves with armors to look just like, uh, you know, Power Rangers. Which we don't want Power Rangers. If we wanted to watch Power Rangers, we go and watch it. There is a different show for it. But this is where Digimon went downhill, of course, and this led to the creation of. Digimon Savers! I mean, I mean, Digimon Data Squad. Yes, Digimon Data Squad is another Digimon that kind of left a little hole in the story, so... Yeah, with this kind of guy of liking to hit Digimons in the face with his bare hands for no reason. Actually, for a reason to get uh, powers to Digiball. Uh, overall, I didn't really hate this show. Uh, I kind of liked the story, and later on it became really good with the whole Royal Knight thing. But they also kind of dropped the ball in this one because, I don't know, something to do with a uh, little problem. Eh, yeah, they didn't bring the goggles back. Damn, mind you, Digimon. And because of it, Digimon F top a little more and created Digimon Transformers. I mean, Digimon X Cross Wars. I mean, Digimon Fusion. Yeah, and that's all I have to say about Digimon Fusion. And so by this point, the dark times of Digimon has started. Well, at least here in America and in other places, it's not as bad. But there is a solution to this, and it is Digimon Try, which brings all the old characters uh, older. Uh, you know, it brings Ty, Matt, uh, all of them. And with their old Digimon, and you know, the old Digimon and whatnot. And to not spoil it too much, uh, this guy is in it. As well as this guy. She looks awesome. I just saw the four episodes that were released not too long ago. And yeah. Overall, 
Digimon had a, a, a cool, really cool start, and it just kind of went downhill after that. I'm, I'm not sure what's gonna happen uh, here in America with Digimon, so and it's just, it's just kind of dying, and you know, he hasn't picked up with the new series. Uh, it takes a long time for them to get up into English. Uh, all the video games as well. Uh, the last video game it came out, it was uh, Digimon uh, Cyber Sleuth. And that took a while to can come here, I think a year. And uh, some of the games that are released in Japan doesn't even see a release uh, here in America. So uh, hopefully Digimon can pick up its game back with Digimon Tribe, but I doubt it. So it's kind of hard. Especially with new uh, animes coming out like uh, Jokai Watch and you know stuff like that. That is kind of taking the place of Digimon. Uh, and Pokemon is too strong here in America uh, and so it is really hard for Digimon to get back but hopefully if the community stays strong and we keep playing the games and whatnot maybe all the medic make a comeback and Digimon Tribe will get up soon and that'll be cool alright people thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos peace